guys, Stitching May here to do my weekly update. I'm actually back within a week. Um, I almost didn't do the video because I don't feel like I have a ton of progress to show you, but I thought I would try it anyway just to see um, how it goes even without a lot of progress. Um, first of all, happy birthday Belinda, Aussie Stitcher. I hope your birthday was amazing. I uh, hope you enjoyed your apple pie and that your kids finally realized why they were having pie. Um, and then also, um, I had a question about the stitching through the solar system, um, event in my last, that I mentioned in my last video. That is a, an event through Semi-Sane Stitchers. I'll link to the group below. I can't link to the event itself. Um, the group holds a lot of very creative events and they, through each task that you complete, you get an entry to a giveaway at either the end of the year next year or the beginning of the year next year. I'm not 100% sure where the drawing is. Um, the Stitching Through the Solar System is not a giveaway entry event anyway. It's just kind of, hey, you stitch the solar system. What they've done, I believe, is convert miles to stitches. So every planet has ever how many miles it would take, I think, to stitch to go around the planet. Um, even some dwarf planets and then you just post your stitches and your pictures and then once you've completed enough stitches to go around sorry adjusting my position here around that planet you get a little badge saying that you've stitched that planet like i said though, that one's not for giveaway entries it's got um several of the planets and then it's got even the dwarf planets so that's how that event works um they have tons of neat events though which I'll talk more about one in my plans part of the video. So to start things off, let's talk about what I've stitched so far, my progress. Um, first of all, I ended last week with stitching on my birth sampler. I was stitching on that for my magical stitches and literature extra February extra credit. Um, have three notebook here notebooks here and one's falling apart i've got to change my magical stitches book this thing's falling i abuse it too much it's falling apart um so i stitched on one of the february extra credit tasks is something with words so i worked on my birth sampler um up to 336 stitches for my extra credit i have to stitch 500 so i'll have to work on this some more before the end of the month this is what it will look like when it's finished. This is from Etsy, one of a kind baby designs, and this is for a friend. And this is what it looked like before. This is what I wrapped last week stitching up. <clears throat> this is, sorry, I got stuff falling everywhere. I'm usually more organized than this. This is where I currently am. I've almost finished a second page on this piece. Let me get this still to where you can see it. There we go. I stitched the first name, finished the first two rows on this page. The only thing I have on this page is to finish this bottom row, which I think is just like a few words, a few letters of the word. Um, what this says, is for this child I have prayed and the Lord has granted the desires of my heart. First Samuel 127. So I think it's just got a few of the um letters of the word granted. So I'm I'm getting pretty far. This will be my second page complete once I complete this page. And I will have to complete this that page and then some in order to get all of the extra credit to get the 500 stitches. And then later on, I will use this for um, one of the ultimate crop, the ultimate cross stitch challenges, the year long challenges, a thousand stitches as well. Um, over the weekend, I worked and um, I was able to stitch some on break. I decided to work on my ultimate cross stitch project um, for Harry Potter, and it's that. Seven registered animagi, animagi. I, I could be saying that completely incorrect. I don't know. I am. I have to stitch a thousand stitches 
Um, I am up to 528 stitches. I don't know how many I actually stitched this weekend. I could look up and tell you it was only like 100 or so because I was on break at work, so it wasn't like a whole bunch. This is what it will look like when I am finished. This is from the Tiny Modernist on Etsy called Pugs Not Drugs. It is for a coworker who has a pug. I decided to make him a cross stitch after he made me a little bag, a little floss bag. This is where I was before. And this is where I am now. So I worked on this little guy's face and his collar and then some of these darker colors. And then now on the body, I just have to go in and fill in this light color. So I should be able to get my other 500 stitches in quick and finish one of the ultimate cross stitch challenges for the School of, Mag School of Magical Stitches and Literature. But there that is. Did it finally stop raining? I'm so tired of raining. Need the stuff organized because if I don't, I won't. Like, they even delayed school today. I may have kept Connor home. Um, and then the last thing I worked on was my actual homework. So homework drops about midnight. This Pacific time I think yeah which is three hours behind so about three o'clock in the morning on Monday morning for me I don't get a stitch I don't always get to stitch on Monday because I now work Mondays but I um still look for it and look forward to the homework this week was based on the Chamber of Secrets being open um the first task i'm not gonna they put a lot more detail into each task i'm not gonna put read all of that because that's theirs um essentially you had to stitch 200 stitches on a project that had skeletons 200 stitches on a project that was one of the items that petrified the students Spo spoiler alert that was a ghost a mirror a water water and a camera I'm going to stitch on a ghost. That's the only one I haven't completed yet. Um, the Phoenix appears. Start stitch 200 stitches on something that you had to restart. And number four was 200 stitches on something that had a weapon on it. Or you could stitch four for any of those. You could stitch a total of 400 stitches for each of those if you had nothing that would fit. So like if you didn't have anything with skeletons to complete that one, you could just stitch 400 stitches and that would be completed because that's your penalty. Um, I have completed three of four homeworks, and I have the fourth one planned. The three of my four homeworks were all stitched on the same project. Oh, Sorry, it fell. Which is the Crypt Club by Prairie Moon. This is what it will look like when it's finished. <clears throat> and while I have this up, I'll do my explanation. Of course, it's got a skeleton on it, which is kind of an obvious for the skeleton. I had to restart this one. Not this project, but the fabric it was on had a different project on it, and I had to frog that out and then start this one on that fabric. So I restarted the fabric. And then the weapon. This was the one I had to kind of get creative on. He has a cane. I don't know if you can see that, but this gentleman has a cane. She has a purse, but who knows what could lurk in that purse. And then this guy is seating them at a table with two goblets of drink. Or is it poison? Is it a poisonous potion? So see, there's three opportunities for weapons. So I stitched a total of 623 stitches on this project this week. This is what this one looked like before. Really excited about my progress. And this is where I currently am now. With that said, the 623 stitches I stitched, I did not count any of the quarter stitches because it's too hard for me. It's hard enough for me to keep up with my stitches, much less counting four quarter stitches as one stitch. So those are just extra. But this is where I am. This is stitched in the called for DMC. Um, it has it calls it calls for bell swast silks. 
but then it has the DMC conversion and I just use the DMC conversion. This is stitched on 32 count Meyer by Picture This Plus. And this was gifted to me a while back ago by Emily C. Or Eclectic Possessions. But there that is. And that is it for my stitching progress. Um, stitching plans. I plan to work on... Where did it go? Where did my ghost go? I just had him. I will do 200 stitches on my ghost. If you like this handy dandy bag. Because it's a small. Um, this is Boo. I showed it last week from Just Cross Stitch. I'm going to work 200 stitches on Boo. I may be able to finish Boo out. I don't know. We'll see. That's my goal is to finish him. We'll, we'll see how far I actually get. Um, and then tonight, Miss Connie is coming to spend the night in my house. I get to have a stitchy night with Connie. And then tomorrow early morning, we are going together. We are driving together to a town about two and a half-ish hours away um, to, for a Georgia Stitchers meetup. <clears throat> really excited to do that. We are going to listen to Harry Potter on the way. She does I don't know. If she she kind of said it was fine. I don't know if she thought I was kidding and agreed. It's really going to happen. And um, that way I can try to get Chamber of Secrets out this month. There will be two books I listen to this month. And then I'm going to work on Anne at some point, hopefully, because that's my book's ultimate cross-stitch challenge. And then for Magical Stitches. And then also I want to work on... Um, my birth sampler to try to finish up my February extra credit. I don't know if I mentioned, I've got 336 stitches of the extra credit completed. I need 500. And then that is it. That is it for this video as far as progress goes and as far as kind of stitchy plans. Oh, except that I am about to join in on the Stitchopoly for the semi-sane stitchers group. I don't know a lot about it. They've just kind of given the outline of the plans. It sounds like we're going to get a Monopoly board. I don't know if everybody gets their own Monopoly board or if it's going to be a group Monopoly board. You either roll a real dice or you um, roll dice on an app. You move your character or whatever that many places and then you apparently each property is going to have a set amount of stitches you have to stitch in order to get that property. You stitch those pieces, claim that property, and then roll again. Um, I think you get an entry for the giveaway for every time you pass go. And then if you collect a block of properties, you know the color blocks from Monopoly. I, I don't understand it all. I'm sure I'll know more about it next video and can tell you a lot more. I'm kind of nervous. I think we had to stitch three to six hundred stitches every 48 hours in order to, or every time we roll. Like when you roll, you have 48 hours to stitch your quota. And it's either three to six hundred stitches in 48 hours. I'm a little nervous about that. We'll see if we can do it. If I can't, then I can't. And it is what it is. It's just for fun. Um, but as always, Thanks for watching and happy stitching.